Welcome, thank you for joining me. This is a beautiful Chaconne by a Baroque composer, Johann Fischer. Chaconne is very popular at the time. And this particular one is published in this book here, Trinity's Grade 4 from 2023. Uh, it's in the extended edition of this. So what is a Chaconne? A Chaconne is a structure for music where you have a chord sequence, or perhaps simply a bass line, that is repeated on a loop, and the composer's skill was to create a piece of music out of that, in much the same way, as I said, that jazz musicians might take a chord progression and improvise over it, create a longer piece of music using that as the basis. So in our Chacon here, um, Johann Fischer uses a very, very common idea. It's a falling bass movement. We're in A minor. Let's put it up here for now. Now walk down. And that's going to go on a loop. It's just four notes. So the implied harmony from that is this. It's an A minor. E minor. Think of natural minor a natural minor scale, and then chord four in inversion to chord five, which very nicely loops you back. And in the Baroque period, what composers liked very much to do was this idea of suspension and resolution. So when we get to this chord, I'm going to keep hold of the E suspend it from the previous chord, resolve it. Now I'm going to my E chord and I'm going to keep hold of the A, suspend it and then resolve it. We've spoken about the idea of suspensions and resolutions. This idea of holding on to a note from a previous chord, making it clash and then resolving it to a note from the chord. So a big part of this piece is that. So there's an awful lot of suspensions, notes held on. So our fingers have to follow really carefully to make sure they're holding on to the right notes and to make sure they're letting go of the right notes too. On a piano, of course, the note diminishes, dies away from the moment we've played it. So it's sometimes quite difficult to hear that. If we change the sound, as I'm going to do now to an organ, let's say, we're going to hear really clearly which notes we're holding on to. So if your piano can do that, that would be a good thing to do. Or get to a real organ if you can. Let's have a listen just to the first line with an organ sound. In this Trinity edition, there's a metronome suggestion. They've suggested moderato crotchet 63. So that would give us this.
thank you very much for being with me. I hope you enjoy studying this piece if you are. There's lots of teaching resources beyond what I'm showing you here, linked down below. Perhaps I shall see some of you there. Take care. Bye-bye for now.